Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's sketch is this one right here. It's got three photos. Now I do have three photos here and the prompt is mixing metal. So I have silver and gold. And then I think my background's gonna be this black glitter stock. So let's see what I can do. All right guys, this layout comes together super quick. Now I went ahead and trimmed down my photos to four by fours. Um, this is a photo of the inside of the restaurant. This is a photo of my meal. Uh, and I also have a photo of the outside of the restaurant. Now I had never eaten at the Hollywood Brown Derby before. Um, it is always one that I wanted to try, um, but you know, it never worked out on a Disney trip. And since I was solo this time, um, by choice, please don't feel sorry for me. I love taking solo Disney trips. <laughs> um, since I was solo this time, I made it work. Like I was like, this is, this is gonna happen. Um, so that is what I did. Now, I swear, I'm tired of people texting me while I am trying to do a voiceover. Um, now, I am just going to cut these down and into big rectangles, uh, kind, of, kind of like what the sketch calls out, and then I'm going to layer them up. Now, I will say, um, I don't know why I felt the need to flip over that gold piece of paper. It just felt like it needed to be that direction. Um, so now I'm going to use my grid mat and kind of line up where the papers are. And then I'm going to put them um, where they go. I think this is real time, guys. I'm pretty sure this is a real time. This is how quick this video came together instead of speeding it up. So now I'm gonna figure out where I want the big block of silver and white paper to go here. And I figure that out and then I cut it down and then I realize, wow, this is a lot of lot, right? It's just a lot. So I'm going to trim it down even more uh, because like I said, it's a lot. So I get that bad boy trimmed down and now I am going to adhere it onto the page. Now this is where I make the decision that um, I didn't like my original decision. <laughs> my original decision uh, for the layout um, was to not exactly follow the sketch and have both sides of the page um, have them in a line. Like in the sketch, the background little pieces are not lined up exactly but I wanted it lined up and then I regret it that decision so I trim um, down I'm going to trim this down because I don't like it it's too much um, I'm just trying to figure out which way I wanted the photos to go and what photo was going to overlap which so that I wasn't really covering up anything super important on the layout so now I figured that out and I'm going to get it here and then I'm going to put the food uh, portion of the layout over here on the right hand side. Now obviously my photos are a little bit bigger than what is in the sketch um, because they do not line up exactly the way they do in the sketch and that's okay. Like you're making it work for you, right? Like your photos are your photos and I wouldn't want to trim de these photos down anymore just to be able to apply them to a sketch to make them exactly fit the sketch. Um, the photos are more important than, than exactly following the sketch. So now this is where I'm like, oh, this is too much over here. So I'm going to cut this off. Now I should have pulled this off and cut it with a straight edge uh, because it's crooked and even when I cut it again, it's still crooked. So I have to like camouflage the fact that I was a maniac and uh, just kind of tried to scissor my paper off of the layout while, while it was still adhered down. Like, and it's still crooked. I'm just like, whatever. At this point, I'm like, whatever. <laughs> um, so now I have a pretty big expanse of glitter paper here showing on the right hand side. And I think that this gives it more of a balance. Um, since my metals are so big, thick, and bold, um, had I left it down there underneath of the photo like that, I think we just would have been a little bit overwhelmed. At least I know I would have been a little bit overwhelmed. 
um, but not so overwhelmed where I can't bring in more metallic things. So I have this silver metallic doily and I'm going to put that on the layout as well. Um, and I made sure that it didn't overlap onto the gold part, which is really weird. Um, for some reason, did not want my silver doily touching the gold. I was like, nope, nope, doesn't belong there. It's not gonna happen. So now here we are. Um, and as you can probably guess, we're not gonna get a tag on there. Um, plus that tag in the sketch has a naked tag hole and that's just atrocious. Um, and then I'm also not gonna get a banner that spans the left from the right hand side of the page. That's not gonna happen either. Um, what is gonna happen is I'm going to find some black and white letter stickers. Now I toyed with the idea of using a metallic letter sticker, but I figured that that would be a little bit whoa. You know, like whoa, hold your horses Sandy, why the heck are you doing that? Um, so I ended up using these black and white letter stickers and I didn't even realize I had no more Y's left. So I had to take an X and cut a Y out of it. It works, it's fine. Um, I don't know if I do this on camera or off, but I do add liquid adhesive to the back of these uh, thickers because you know they don't stick. They just don't. I mean, it's just a fact of life now. Like. Buy your thickers, buy your liquid adhesive so that you can actually adhere your thickers to the page. So I was thinking about bringing in a, another word over here uh, for the derby. I was thinking about Hollywood, I was thinking of brown, I was thinking of all these things that um, I did not have the proper letters for. So it's fine, it's fine. Um, I decided not to go that way, but that is what was going on through my mind while I was holding those stickers there. Um, I promise I wasn't just holding stickers to hold them. Now I did feel like I needed to add a little bit of embellishment to this page. Not a whole heck of a lot because the gold and silver is a little bit wham in your face, but just some little touches that would kind of bring it together for me. Um, I'm not looking to, you know, overly embellish this layout, just little things. Uh, so I found these enamel hearts and they are a similar color to the photo mats that I used. So I'm just going to put a couple of double hearts around the page. Um, and that's just going to also break up kind of the big, thick, bold colors. This is, this is something a little bit smaller and a little bit daintier and it's just going to break up um, the thickness of the color. Um, so now I'm also like, okay, now I need a couple word phrases. So I have these P13 word phrases and I'm just going to drop a couple, uh, onto the page, uh, that I feel like are appropriate. There are some on here that would not, they just wouldn't make sense. You know what I mean? Uh, but the ones that do make sense, I go ahead and get them on the layout. And there really isn't a lot of place to journal on this layout, but I still have more brown derby pictures. So I'm thinking I could probably journal the story more on that layout, uh, just because there really isn't a clear place to journal here. That is gonna do it, you guys. Thank you so much for uh, watching this video. Click on the links down below so you can Check out everyone who is playing along with Scrap Timber and 30 Days of Sketches, and I will see you guys again real soon for another video.